Hi, I'm Caroline Pemberton for Virtual Office and today I'm here with Doug Rathbone from BMF. Hi Doug, thanks for joining us. So Doug, tell me a little bit about yourself and the company that you work for. I'm a technical director for BMF Advertising. Uh, BMF is an integrated agency based in Piermont in Sydney. Uh, and my role there, I suppose, is to uh, oversee our digital development team. We have a digital development team of 10 people uh, and a further interactive um, digital team um, of about 40. So that's uh, interactive and digital planners, uh, creatives, campaign architects, um, project managers, and I suppose digital account managers. So Doug, with the world of digital media exploding and telecommunications, broadcast and IT converging, what kind of opportunities does that present for you and for your customers? I think it's a really exciting time to be in digital. Um, you know, you look at the web, uh, say 10 years ago, uh, and, and advertising campaigns on the web were more, um, they were more a one-way conversation, it was more a medium of, of selling um, you know, whether it be a product or a service. And now, I suppose, with the rise in the last couple of years of, of social media and, and interaction on the web, it's more of a, a two-way conversation. And advertising o over, you know, the last hundred years or so has been more about consumers being told what they want. Um, and I think the web and, and digital campaigns nowadays really allows users to define, I suppose, what, what their products need to be and what they need to be, I suppose, communicating to them. A lot of energy and effort goes into creating a unique online presence that's fun, it's functional and it's entertaining. What kind of role does Virtual Office play in helping you guys achieve that? We're not an IT infrastructure company. We're all about, I suppose, delivering good creative ideas online. Um, and where a Virtual Office comes in, you know, using a managed supplier for hosting allows us to, I suppose, just get on with the job of making really creative, innovative online ideas come to life. And, um, you know, virtual office, the, st the staff there, Chai and Scott, um, they, they allow us as, as a, through our partnership to, uh, to, to not have to worry about that side of our business. So why did you guys engage a managed service provider in the first place? Um, well, I, I think virtual office um, is unique in the sense that it, it's, that they don't just kind of sell infrastructure. It's, it's, it's a lot more of a partnership. There's a lot more, I suppose, communication day to day between us and their staff members and all the way through to I suppose when we actually go live with campaign sites having them help us to monitor to, to maintain uptime and scalability and things like that. So security and performance must be so important particularly with big brands like the CBA. Can you tell me a little bit about your latest project Investorville? Investorville is actually a really exciting um, online application that we built for Commonwealth Bank. Um, it's uh, an online investment uh, simulator or game that allows people who I suppose are thinking about getting into to property investment but haven't really I suppose made the decision to jump in. That, that gave us a lot of challenges I think from, from a, a, a development point of view and, and a hosting point of view. Uh, the, the application itself is quite complicated because it uses real RP data um, which is like mm -hmm. um, you know suburb financial data for, for sales of real estate in Australia and um, it also has 650,000 um, real uh, property sales in the system so from a from a data storage point of view it, it has quite a high um, barrier for entry and I think also from a server grunt point of view um, there's a very high um, requirement to, to be able to you know process financial modeling and things like that um, and and also, I think it was, it's also been a really popular application that's gone out and had um, a really big take up. Um, we've, we've also been pushing it through a lot of other mediums. So there's been a high requirement for, for bandwidth. And there's been a, a lot of, I suppose, spikes that have that happened mm. since the application's gone live. And, and Virtual Office has really allowed us to, to more worry about the application itself and how we can make it better and, and how we can uh, make the user experience better and not have to worry about know, spikes of traffic uh, coming off the back of a TV campaign or things like that. T to begin with, um, we were building something that hadn't, hadn't really been done before. So to a certain extent, um, along with the staff of Virtual Office, we had to really, you know, have a think about what, what we were going to require from a server performance point of view. And after we went live, I think there were some instances where maybe we, we had underestimated how big the, the, the site and the campaign would be accepted. 
Um, and that, that meant that after we had gone live, um, you know, we, we had to scale up, um, you know, in, in the weeks after going live. And the staff at Virtual Office were really, really great in offering us the monitoring that we required to, I suppose, make those decisions as close to real time as possible that we needed to add more CPUs into our servers or we needed to add more RAM. In your industry, how important is it that Virtual Office is fast and responsive? If, um, if a media campaign that's online becomes inaccessible or becomes slow, that, that leaves users with a bad experience and usually that means that a failed site can in some ways mean a failed brand. And our clients are really looking to us to be able to deliver that solution without having to even worry about that. It's more about what can we deliver to the user. So if, if a site goes offline, um, users a lot of the time don't come back. So we just can't really afford to have a site go down. Um, I think the way that Virtual Office responds and supports us in the partnership we have for hosting of our websites um, that really doesn't seem to ever be an, an issue and I think that really takes a load off, off us. We're able to just concentrate on delivering great, great media campaigns. In your experience, how does that service compare with other providers? Um, they are our, 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 our web hosting and infrastructure provider, um, but it's not just hosting. Uh, th they're involved in the complete life cycle of, pro of project or a ca campaign for us, all the way you know, from beginning scoping and estimates all the way through to, to after we've gone live and scalability. And how would you characterise the service that you receive from Virtual Office? Catching up with, with the staff, with Chai and Scott, um, it, it really, I suppose, gives us a good peace of mind um, that we can not have to worry about, you know, uh, our requirements from, from a web hosting and infrastructure point of view. Yeah, They've really shouldered a lot of that responsibility for us. And, and that's really, really important and that's something I don't think you can find elsewhere in the market. Great. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your time.